and she's about to do some high flying. Um, Ariel is super challenging, uh, not only like um, on your muscles, so it only takes, it takes a lot of strength and flexibility, but you get fatigued a lot faster because you're in the air trying to hold yourself up and do all these crazy stunts. First started, I just couldn't do a lot. <laughs> Tired. Oh, it was so hard. I didn't have any of the muscle strength. I couldn't even do a push-up, let alone, a, you know, pull myself into anything. So it took a lot of time to be able to build up the requi required muscle strength and just find out how to do things more efficiently. I finally have the strength um, and stamina in the air now that I can pretty much learn whatever I want. That's very motivating. The first time I flew, I fell in love. There was a lot of like connection between the person because she was like, here, just trust me, and then just like picked me up with her feet. Acro yoga is a lot of more intimate connection with somebody else, but in a more friendly way. I felt very like surprised at first, but also very euphoric. Like after you're done running for a while, you kind of get like a feeling of like relief and like just feeling good. It can be challenging, yeah, but the thing about it too is it's not challenging just for you, it's challenging for you and your partner, so you're not in it alone. The thing I like the most is it's an opportunity for me to empower my students. So it really challenges like my trust for other people, it challenges the way that we communicate. It transfers from acro yoga into their personal relationships. Before acro, I noticed I wouldn't like, show my love in a very like physical sense, whereas after I started doing acro, I felt more comfortable in expressing it in that way. 